Good afternoon everyone, how's it going? StarCraft 2 doesn't have elevators in the sense that there's a platform that you can put some guys on and have them lifted up or lowered, so we're gonna have to make our own. In my time using the editor to make these silly little cutscenes, I've done elevators two ways. I'm calling them physical and fake. A physical elevator is what it sounds like, units moving up or down on a platform. A fake elevator is simple trickery with basic effects, though both will actually use some of the same methods. Let's start with a physical elevator. Take your unit, or units, and put them on the map. Then, use the doodad browser to find something you like that can be used as a platform. We'll be changing the model's dimensions, so try not to make it anything too complicated. I prefer using crates or wall segments. Once you have something picked out, Take note of its name down here on the bottom bar, because there's a slight possibility that its reference name might be different from its editor display name. Then, go to the unit browser and pick a shape. Place your shape on the map, then head to the data editor. In the models tab, change your shape's model to the doodad you liked the look of. Then, in the scale fields, set both the maximum and minimum ranges to something that gives you a flat platform big enough for your chosen units to stand on. Depending on how thin you made the platform, your unit's feet might be clipping into it. Adjust their height to whatever you need it to be, and remember that you had to do this. It's important. But why not just use the doodad we picked, you might ask? Because it's way easier to make a unit move than a doodad. Head to the trigger editor. Set up whatever event will start this whole sequence. I'm once again using just a simple unit enters slash leaves region. This medic enters the region on this disc. The most important part comes from a change unit height action. Add as many change unit heights as you have units you want to be elevated, then toss in another for the shape turned platform itself. Select your height, select your number of seconds, and that is almost all there is to it. Remember that your dude's feet were clipping into the platform? You'll have the same problem again unless you tweak a few things. Now, if you don't particularly care, or you aren't going to be showing the entire model, feel free not to bother, this is just a step for perfectionists. But if you do care, you need to actually have the regular units themselves go to a slightly different height than the platform. There's no easy way to tell you what numbers these should be, so it'll just be pure experimentation. If it helps, height is always measured from the ground, no matter what that ground's height is. Here, both marines are being moved to height 1 from 0 and back again. And you can see that height 1 is just slightly taller than default marine. Moving on to the fake elevator, this one takes cues from real life special effects. Once again, set up your units however you'd like. Then, take another shape and put one on either side of your unit, and move everything way up into the air. Now, change that shape's model to your choice from the Light Omni set of models. I'm just using white. Now, move them both up even higher. Specifically, put them high up enough that they aren't actually lighting the unit anymore, and make sure that they can travel far down enough to also not be visible. This is very important to sell the effect. Then, just set up a trigger to change the light unit's height. Add a weight trigger for the same duration as you told them to travel, and make sure you're waiting in real time, since that's what all the time variables inside the editor work with. Then add another change height trigger, this time setting them back to their original height over a period of zero seconds, which means instantly. Stick all of this into a repeat trigger. Repeat forever is the obvious choice, but you might have a reason to get fancy with it, and you're set. Again, you'll have to test what heights work best, but the important part is that at their start and end heights, they aren't visible on the model they're illuminating. If they are, you'll see the transition of them snapping back into place, and the effect is ruined. As for the actual visual effect, if you have them move from high to low, it implies that the unit is traveling upwards, and if you have them move from low to high, it looks like it's moving down. And of course, how fast you make the lights move will affect how fast it seems like the elevator is traveling. And there you go. Two ways to fake elevators inside the StarCraft II editor. One, a very literal manipulation of the little pieces that make up the video game, and one that's just a film technique that's over 100 years old. Obviously, these effects work best if you have some way to show them off, like glass fronts or sides, but how you build your sets is up to you. 
All right. Till next time.